Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm with Sarah. This is my and Nick's hairdresser. She's absolutely brilliant. And today she's going to show us how to do a basic ponytail and a top knot. Because loads of people ask when I do it on myself. So Sarah's going to show us exactly the good way. As you probably know, if you wear a very dark eye or a very dark lip, sometimes the best way to offset that without it looking over the top is to just wear a simple sleek ponytail. Um, this season you could see it on the catwalks of Dior, Jill Sander um, and also on, what did we Mark, say, Mark Jacobs. So Sarah's going to show you now, on my hair. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of show you but I'm going to get you to actually do it. Oh, okay. That's right, alright. So, I guess that's a good thing because it means it will show you guys how to do it yourself yeah, at home. So we'll I thought I was just going to get my hair done. It's just not happening. So, what we're going to do is um, just go through some little tips that um, can create this simple ponytail um, and using some products and stuff like that. Cool. So, um, one of the best brushes to have in oh, your little kit these are brilliant. is a back comb brush. Um, you can pretty much now get them from anywhere, like Butte Boots or anywhere like that. Um, but ask your hairdresser as well, they can always get them for you from the wholesalers and that, but this is a lifesaver. I actually bought one of these in bright pink, it's a Denman one, I got it from Superdrug and it was about £3. There you go, perfect. So um, it is really, really good because um, obviously you have the end like that to section off and then you have the other end where you can just, you know, make it really smooth and stuff like that. So we are going to leave... Sam's hair, just how she normally wears it. Um, you are growing your fringe out. Yes, because it doesn't work for videos. <laughs> so we're gonna um, just sort of push that back, but as you can understand that it's um, growing out at the moment. So um, first things is we're just gonna use a little bit of hairspray. This is Bedhead Hardhead, and it's the best hairspray you can ever find. Is it better than Elnet? Yes. Why? Only because you have, with Elnet, and it's really good for fine finishing. Yeah. But with working with it, it's too dry. Mm. So it's a bit fine. So this is really good to like, obviously, but Elnet's good to finish it and hold it in place. But this is good to work with because it's slightly wetter. That's interesting wetter. because I've never liked Elnet. Everybody uses it. But that's probably because it stinks, it gives me a headache. Yeah, Does that smell alright? Yeah. Oh, well, that's a bonus. So I always think Elnet is really good for its purpose, which yeah. is finishing. But I don't believe it's very good to work with. It's okay. too dry. So. Oh, okay, excellent. So we're just going to use a little bit. So just round the edges to begin with. So then we're just going to, with the, that end, is brush it through. Now this will take out all, obviously, the bumps and the little fine bits and just pull it into the bottom. Now we are really, honestly, doing a simple ponytail, so it is just going to hit an nape there. Um, so it is just about pulling all the way through, just so everywhere is smooth. But to be honest with you, it looks quite cool when it's not so perfect as well. Normally you use a hairband like this very fine which is a little bit easier to work with but a lot of people when they put hair bands is they just use the band so they would then put the hair in and yeah. twist it all but I don't know with you or with, definitely with me with long hair is I get all tangled up yeah so I don't know where I'm pulling it out from or anything like that so the trick is is to put two grips on like this if you, if you can see that and the next trick is is you, if, I'll show you with your hair. I'll turn around. Yeah. So, put the grip in. Yeah. Hold the kind of grip to your head. That's yeah. it. Got and it. then with your other hand. Yeah. Wrap that round. Yeah. That's it. All the way around? Yeah. Oh no, my hand's in the way now. Yeah, so I can, that's it. Okay, got you. And then you clip that underneath. Oh. Like that. Takes oh. a couple of times to, um, practice it. That's perfect. Will that hold? Yeah. Huh. But obviously what That's you can good, do easy. is if it feels a little bit looser you can like try and wrap it, wrap it around. So it's just another way because otherwise you pull all your hair through, it might be a bit breakage or anything like that. That's so a good that way to get a smooth ponytail. Smooth ponytail. And yes it won't damage your hair. Won't damage your hair. Now I have to pin my fringe back because it looks <sighs> stupid. Can you do it for me? Because yeah. I've just painted my nails in this gorgeous colour and I'm going to wreck them. Right, what are we doing next? Top knot. Okay. Right, right so, so what I have to do. When you take these out, you just take the grip out and it falls out. So. Okay. Well, that's a bit easier, isn't it? Yeah. 
where the ponytail needs to be is right here. Right at the top. Right at the top. What a lot of people do is they place it down here, which if we turn the head to here, and it will look more like a bun, which is still quite cool, still quite fashionable, but at the moment it's getting it right onto the top of the head. So what I'm going to get Sam to do is actually flip over, because yeah. she'll be doing it herself. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> and you just need to brush it all like you would on the top of your head. And what you need to do is, for the ponytail, is to sit kind of here. Okay, right, I can do that. Right, so now I'm just going to brush it with this one. Yeah, or you just can brush it with a power brush. Oh yeah, hair. that's the one, yeah. this one. Because I've got thick hair. Oh yeah. <laughs> Get all that in there. <laughs> yep. If you have any of those little wispy bits that, um, that are all really annoying and you don't have one of these brushes, you can actually use a old toothbrush. Oh, good And point. that will, um, just to help you like smooth it out a little bit without actually, but don't use just anyone's toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just I'm just going to push it in. Right, at the back? Right, or... so you need it right near your hand. Right, right near my hand. Oh, yeah. I got you. So you put it right near your hand, and, yeah. so that you can hold it. We're going around. Okay, so I go around as far as I can, and then I push it in. Yep. Yep. In. Right, so now, now you've got your ponytail in, all you need to do is twist the hair. And as you twist the hair, you then just go around like a normal bun. But just try and make it a little bit higher and just make sure that you get all the little pieces in but you can do that afterwards so you just clip it in like that and then you just pull it out a little bit what am i pinning it in with little curly whips grips okay cool curly whips like that got you cool right let's do it so so i take my hair yeah i twist it that's it perfect like that i can't i'm looking in the monitor so i can't <laughs> see if there's any little bits I can pin those down after. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, if you want it really smooth, you could put like a hairnet over the top. Yeah. If you wanted it really smooth. But actually, yeah, I think it's enough. a bit cooler if you don't have it smooth. Sometimes when I film videos, I make it, I do put the hairnet on because I know it's really distracting for you guys to have like the flyaways. But it's kind of cooler if it's a bit dishevelled. Yeah. Think Brittany. Anyway, that's everything for today. Thank you for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.